careful comparing them to Nazi concentration camps because they're not at all comparable in the slightest. So NBC's Chuck Todd likely just ended his career by committing the treasonous act of calling out AOC for her completely idiotic concentration camp episode. Don't get too excited though. This might seem like an improvement in the media or as if this activist has finally seen the light and is sincere in his criticisms, but I don't think that's the case. Given Todd's long track record of bias and his obvious advocacy for left-wing and Democrat policies and politicians, it's really kind of difficult to take him seriously. You'll see what I mean, but basically he's just deflecting from his part and dividing this country and creating this environment in the first place. Why didn't he just say that? Why are we so sheepish calling out people we agree with politically these days? Obviously, this isn't a Democratic Party thing. It's an even bigger problem on the Republican side of the aisle. The first question that comes to my mind is what measure he's using to declare that it's a much bigger problem on the Republican side. I mean, from where I'm sitting, the media just got done with eight years of kowtowing to Obama and basically being his personal PR. Since then, they've been willing participants and trying to undo a Democratic election, which is hilarious because just before that, they were all saying that if Trump did that, that it would be an assault on democracy. It's just obvious that they have an agenda that's focused on whittling down political opposition to the left and to the Democrats. Back when Obama was president, they practically declared themselves willing slaves of his administration. And yeah, I get it. They're Hollywood. They're actors. They're not journalists. But I mean, look at it now. Hollywood and what's coming out of the so-called free press media is exactly the same. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind because, because together, together we can. can. Together we are, and together we will be the change that we seek. So you're going to have to have some proof if you declare that it's a much bigger problem on the Republican side. I don't see it that way at all. Sure, I'll concede that people are willing to look the other way when it comes to Trump, but there are multiple reasons for that. Most important, the fact that people just don't trust the media. After the media protected Bill Clinton and then constantly attacked Bush and then promoted and protected Obama, and now with the constant lies and the manipulation, people have had enough. They're willing to deal with Trump's many shortcomings because he fights back against what is clearly a corrupt partisan media that is an increasing threat to half the country's ability to even take part in the democratic process. Are we really so ensconced in our political bubbles, liberal versus conservative, that we cannot talk about right versus wrong anymore? Yeah, we are, and it's thanks to people like you, Todd. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was mostly good that he said these things, but it's as if he's just trying to cover his own ass and rewrite history. Just like Chris Cuomo yesterday, trying to rewrite history and claim that CNN went, quote, nuts over Obama's detention of migrant children in 2014. I mean, just a simple search will show you that no such thing ever occurred. Todd really got one thing right for sure, and that's the Democrats' fear of going against their extreme wing because of the reactions they're going to get on Twitter. Todd got absolutely hammered on Twitter, especially after AOC sent her minions after him, claiming that she never said Nazi death camps, when we all know she said never again, which is a direct reference to Nazi death camps. Seriously, this chick would be toast if it weren't for the media protection. That's all I got for you today, folks. Just a quick short video. Please hit that like button. It really helps me. See you next time.